got the wings off. I've got them down the cellar, downstairs here. We've got to basically rub all the rust off them and um, try and get them down to a sort of workable condition so that we can uh, fill the holes or weld bits on if we've got to do. But um, what I'm going to do now is just take off all the excess rust and, um, as I say, get it down into a workable condition. I'm going to sort out all these areas, you see. So what I'm going to do is like just just work this. I've got to get down to bare metal and then see about treating it with some rust eater. Next thing you need is a firm wire brush. Just get all the excess. Like this and it, it's absolutely rotten. The whole thing is absolutely rotten. You can just stick your, your chisel through it. All the paint's coming off. Look. Absolutely rotten. So I'm gonna have to do a steady amount of work on there with um, wire mesh filler, don't know about welding or what, but um, something or other has got to be done to make this there. Uh, okay, I mean even all the way around there, see these sides, they're all absolutely rotten. Right, I'm going to paint these wings now with this Kills Rust. Q-Rust, converts rusty metal into clean service in 15 minutes. That's what we need. And you can put a top coat on in just three hours. Now that we've put the anti-rust paint on the wings, we're going to rub them down with uh, a bit of this stuff, which is uh, emery cloth. Try and make them smooth so that we can paint them over with some undercoat. Um, should only be about an hour's work. Uh, I'm not going to forget that each one of these wings is £175 to buy. So the longer it takes, the more money we save. And this is going to take a long time. Now it's time to rebuild this end bit here. It's not Bad, but it just needs rebuilding so I prepared some filler here and we're going to put the filler on now and there you go there it is with the filler on it there it is with the filler on it so we're going to let that dry and then rub it down make it smoother and we can paint this jolly thing all over rub down it's not a bad finish what we're going to do is paint it over and gradually make it smoother and smoother with the paint. But the whole thing is rubbed down now, ready to be painted, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a have a go at painting it. Now the chap who owned this jack before me 
was one well organised guy. I've got a folder here. It's full of all well, everything that's happened to this car in the last 11 years since he had it. We've got every single MOT for the last 11 years. All the bills that he's work he's had done on the car. All the spare parts he's ordered. A lot. He's even got the MOT form from the failure last time, so it tells me where it's, it's failed. There's only a few things, like. But, um, and even better than that, about five years ago, he started to restore the car himself. And I have all the pictures, he's given me all the pictures of when he restored the car. So, uh, as I said, it's about five years ago, and a lot of water under the uh, cross member since then. But what we're going to do is go through these pictures now, with the aid of a little music, and just see what happened to it last time. Why don't you answer my SMS? I tell you, baby, that my life is in a mess. Please answer my SMS. I need to tell you something I confess. Please answer my SMS. You kept me hanging here waiting for your call. Please answer my SMS. I need to tell you that I love you. Hey, baby. So as you can see, somebody had a great time restoring the car about five years ago. We're going to be doing similar jobs, maybe not doing the sills, the sills don't no, no need doing, they've been doing before. But we're going to also be doing some welding underneath the car because there's a few holes there. But uh, it's amazing what sort of a history a car like this has. It's actually what, uh, almost 24 years old. It's been restored at least once before, as we can see from the pictures. It's going to be restored again now. Who knows, this car could last 40 years. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi.